So another option to export the data is as virtual marker sets. So we are doing markerless tracking, but nevertheless, we can define marker positions on a face on the template model, which you can then export. And we can export it in two different formats in C3D and BBH. C3D, for example, is being used by face robot and BBH could be used with Blender, for example. So let's just select BBH for now. Uh, it's very similar for C3D. So we're exporting um, our sequence. So let's define we want again, it's the test sequence test.bbh. And now we can select the marker set we want to export. And there is either we don't have any marker set that just doesn't make sense in this respect. Um, you can have a, you can load a custom marker set or you can uh, do a custom marker set. So if you define that, you get go to this pane here where you can define markers. So let's say here, for example, I can add a marker and it will automatically add another marker on the other side. With this, I can add as many markers as I want in the scene. And I can give marker names, so test one, for example. So it's all up to you, you can define all of these. And if I want, I can save these marker sets as well for if you want to load them again at a later stage within Photoshop. But let's just take the face woven marker set, which is uh, the set here. And you can see here it is already appropriately named. All right, so we take this one, we define, so we can define the markers either on our default face, which is the generic template we use before uh, adapting it to the actor, or we uh, um, export it on the actor face. So let's put it on the template, because then we are actually independent of the underlying actor. Then we can define the frame rate that we want to export it in, we can define the unit we want to export it in. We can define whether we want to include or not the head rotation and translation, whether the head pose should be in absolute camera coordinates of the sensor, whether it should be relative to the neutral pose that we set with calibrate neutral, or whether it's relative to the first frame of our sequence. And lastly, we can also define that we want to export the audio and we want to export the video as a JPEG sequence. So once we have done that, we have exported the marker set. And now you can take this BVH file and then load it, for example, into Blender.